Hey everybody, so it has been a while since we have taken you around to do all our chores. We're gonna take you with us today and kind of show you what it looks like around here right now, how everything's doing, things we are progressing on, things we're scaling back on, and all that kind of stuff. I'm sure things will come up that we don't even know about yet that we will have to face today, and you'll be there to see it, so let's get busy. Gotta give Pepper her breakfast. She's been going with us a lot. But this pen gives her a safe place to be when she can't be right with us because we are on a busy road. I know we've had several comments about that, about her being in a pen, but it's that or probably lose her pretty quickly. Um, that's just the reality of it. So you can see the turkeys are growing and doing good. Uh, we actually have about three more weeks before we get our next batch of chickens. So the turkeys will probably stay in there until then, just because it's a good, safe, dry place. We're in a very rainy season. And so uh, it's just a good place for them to be as long as possible. I'm about to probably turn the heaters off in there. And so they'll just basically be in a building with no heat. That's a good first step. Next step will be raise the door up let them get some air and then eventually moved out of there. But for now, that's a great place for them to be. Big daddy, short tail and big mama. <laughs> ready for breakfast. Dot, he's doing good. And these got upgraded out of the brooder, so you can see we've had more flooding rain, so got to get them moved. These little babies are doing so good. Got those pigs fed. It's way too muddy to take y'all in there. I could barely walk in some places. One of these days, all this rain will stop and we'll be begging for it. But right now, everything's so wet. And I'm not even done up here at the house and I'm already tired. Ducks are doing amazing. We're actually thinning them down a bit. We are getting way more duck eggs than we can move right now. So gonna keep some ducks because we got them because we wanted them and, and we like them. We like them for a meat source. Their eggs are really good in baking and things like that, but we gotta get things back to a little bit more manageable level. So we are actually going to thin our chickens just a bit as well. So we're gonna to try to catch 10 of them for someone and a couple roosters. Um, by the time you see this video, we'll probably have a few left, but they're going quickly. We had put them over on Facebook. That's the best way to keep up with things like that is our Facebook group. Um, but if you're interested, you're local or close by or want some hens, shoot us an email. We're just trying to thin back our eggs are out of control and we just, if we can't move a product fast enough right now with things like ducks and chicken eggs, we are going to scale back just a bit. And one side note is we're selling them at a decently cheap price because it's just whatever we can catch at the time. <laughs>
not do this without him he's not a roper but we get it done so you can see we had two calves one of which has been limping for over a week we gave it time to get better on its own and it was time to help it out and then another one that is showing sure enough signs of pneumonia its mom's bag was super full so it's not been nursing we got it up it didn't want to get up we drove right up to it we could have touched it um, that's not a good sign either because it's not a tame one. In fact, its mom is one of the crazier cows out there, lo and behold. So we had to medicate a calf with a crazy mom, but that's how it goes. But uh, when it wouldn't get up, she's full, its ears are down, acting puny, and then when it did get up, it coughed and coughed several times. We realized it needed some attention as well. So got that done. Good job, Lane. He's muddy and poopy, Smelly. aren't you? Smelly but we got it done. So we're over here across the road where we have 25 heifers and we're rotating them around over here. We're down here, we've called and called and called. We're trying to train them to come to us um, in this certain corner because it's by where our corral is over here where we would work them. We rotate them from field to field. And this is like the hub of where all the fields come together. So we're trying to call them and train them to come here. We count them. We do give them a little snack, just enough to train them to come to us uh, because they are new to doing this on their own. They're not like their mamas that have just done this over and over. This is a new situation. They're not just constantly moving forward like they are behind our house. So it takes a little bit of training, but they get the hang of it pretty quickly. Lane's gone to round them up and we'll get them down here and get them looked at and then move on to the farm that has the steers. So steers are good, heifers are good. We're about to go deliver these chickens and we are done for the day. It's been a full day's work, but that's how it is in the summer. We're pushing through. It always feels good to get our stuff done. Now I'm gonna go work on stuff for the meat business, and we'll see you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching, God bless.